Hi guys, welcome to another week of yoga poses. Um, this week we're doing some open hip poses. So we're gonna hit warrior two, reverse warrior, um, side angle and balancing half moon. So four poses today, but they're all really similar to one another. So let's head to our mats or wherever you're moving today and we'll get started. So for these poses, it's really nice to have um, something to rest your hand on that's taller than the floor. A great example is this. This is a yoga block. They're just like the ones we use at school. But if you don't have a yoga block, you could use pretty much anything like a stack of books, a water bottle, um, just anything that's like a little bit sturdy and taller than your mat. It's just nice to have a little something to put your hands on to help your hips open. So I'm gonna be using this. Um, you don't have to use anything, but if you wanna grab something, it's a great option. So to start today, let's do a little bit of warm up in the hips. So just come to sit with your knees pointed up towards the sky, a little wider than hip distance, and just start to drop your knees side to side. All of the poses that we're doing today are open hip poses. Last week we did closed hip poses, which meant that our hips were pointed straight towards the front or straight down towards the ground. But today, all of the poses that we do, our hips are gonna be pointed or open towards the sides instead. The next time you drop your knees in one direction, just pause and hold there for a moment. Sit up nice and tall, take a breath in, take a breath out. And then just come to center, switch your sides. Take a breath in. Take a breath out and come back to center. And then just pick up your right ankle, lean back so you can cross it over your left thigh. Stretch out here for a moment. Maybe you rock a little side to side, sit up nice and tall. Remember you can adjust this stretch too by picking up your seat and moving yourself closer to your foot that's on the ground. That's gonna make it more intense. And just let yourself switch out. Just notice how your hips feel today. These poses um, are just gonna depend on how you're feeling and how deep you can get into them. And we're also gonna play a little bit with shoulders today. So set both your feet down. You can just kind of sit cross-legged. Then take your right arm across your body, hook your left arm underneath and just let your shoulders stretch out. Relax your shoulders down your back. And then gently release, take your right arm right behind your head in between your shoulder blades. Take your left arm around, grab your right elbow. And instead of um, pulling forward or jumping forward, keep sitting up nice and tall. And just trying to let your hand move a little further down your back. Take one more breath in. As you breathe out, release, take the left arm across the body, hook the right arm underneath. Relax your shoulders back and down, breathe. Then gently release. Take your left arm overhead, take it right between your shoulder blades. Pull your elbow away from your head and grab your left elbow with your right hand. Relax the shoulders down, sit up nice and tall. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. And gently release. Just start to roll your head around a couple times. Let the neck stretch out, the shoulders relax. And when you're ready, no rush, gently come back to center. We're just gonna roll over the knees toward the tabletop position, curl your toes, send your hips high and find down dog. Just take a moment to pedal up the feet, opening up the backs of the legs, the hamstrings and the calves. These are all standing poses. We want to have a little bit of openness in the legs. Nod your head, yes and no. Press into your index fingers a little bit harder. Gaze back towards your thighs. And just start to step forward into a forward fold. 
You might grab opposite elbows for a moment. Just let yourself hang heavy. Keep opening through the backs of the legs. You can keep a little bit in the knees. Release your grip, tuck your chin, press down with your feet, and just take yourself up to stand. All right, so now we're going to move into our first pose, which is warrior two. So just come to the top of your mat. We're going to do the right leg first. So step your left foot back into your high lunge, and then just drop your heel down. So already your hips are opening up towards the side. You might be able to take your left foot back a little bit further and your right foot forward a little bit further. Now, hands to your hips, square them off to the long edge of your mat. Notice your right knee is gonna wanna come inwards like this. This is not what you want. So you wanna take your right hand, press your right knee out away from your body towards the pinky edge of your right foot. Then take your arms out wide to a T and gaze over your front fingertips. Relax your shoulders back and down but you want to feel really strong in this pose. And if you hold it for a while, you'll really start to feel it in your shoulders. See if you can lower down a little bit more, bend into that right knee. Take another breath in. Take another breath out. Then once you're done holding on this side, we're just going to start to take the left arm forward, close the hips so they're pointed back towards the front in your high lunge. And we're just going to step forward into mountain pose. And then we'll switch sides. So take the right foot to the back, start in your high lunge. So really squeezing the inner thighs together and then drop your back heel down. You want to have your front heel, your left heel, lined up with the arch of your right foot. So your feet are really in one strong line. And then really take up as much space on your mat here as you can. You usually can get your legs a little bit wider in open hip positions compared to closed ones. So bring the hands to the hips, make sure they're squaring to the long edge of your mat, and then take your left hand, press your left knee open just a little bit towards the pinky edge of your foot. Press hard into the outside edge of your right foot, the pinky toe side, and then take your arms out wide, Gaze over your front middle finger. Squeeze the shoulder blades together just a little bit to create some opening in the chest. And then breathe here. Feel really strong, really open. Notice what starts to happen in your arms as your shoulders get tired. See if you can keep lifting them up. And then see if you can bend a little more into your left knee. And we'll start to just Square ourselves back off, come onto the ball of your back foot, step forward into your mountain pose. All right, go ahead and pause and journal this one, and then come back when you're ready for part two. All right, so for part two, we're gonna be going back into warrior two and then finding our reverse warrior, which should feel really nice. So come back to standing at the top of your mat. We're gonna step the left foot back first, Drop the heel, open the arms, and find your warrior two. So again, notice how it feels to be here. Really strong bend in your front knee, really long back leg. Flip your right palm up towards the sky, and then start to just take it back behind you as you lift the side body up towards the sky, finding your reverse warrior. And if it feels okay for your neck, you can look up at your hand, but if it doesn't, just look out or even down. Now, your left hand is behind you. You want to have really no weight in it. It can rest here, or it can start to come towards your right hip, your bent leg, and sneak around into your right hip crease. Then keep bending your front knee. It's going to want to straighten a little bit, but breathe here. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. On this breath in, start to rise back up to warrior two. I'm going to show you another variation, which is reverse triangle, but it's a straight front leg, which sometimes feels really nice. So you'll just lean back, this time straightening the front leg. Again, finding a hand variation with the left side that feels good. I really like this. This is called a half bind. 
So your left hand tucks to your right hip. Take one more breath in to your front side. And then as you exhale, re-bend the knee to warrior two. Start to take your left hand forward, come onto the ball of your back foot, and then just step yourself right back into that pose. We'll go to the other side. Start to step your right foot back. And when you get there, drop the heel, open the arms into warrior two. You feel that left knee moving away from your body towards the pinky toe side. Make sure that your heels are aligned. And then flip your left palm, reach up and back and reverse. And stay here, keep bending that left knee. Find a place with your eyes that feels right. So maybe looking up, maybe looking down, maybe out. And then if you want to, you can take your right hand towards your left hip. Just sort of tuck it there into your left hip crease. Keep breathing, keep leaning back as much as you can. And your next breath in, start to rise up back to warrior two, take the arms out wide, and we'll find that straight leg variation. Just straightening the front leg, reaching up and back, and reversing your warrior here. Feel strong in both legs, strong in the glutes. And then again, if you want the arm variation, just start to take it forward your hip crease. Really breathe into the left side. Then start to come back to warrior two, neutral in the spine, from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Rebend your front knee. Come forward with your hands and onto the ball of your back foot. And then just step yourself right into mountain pose. All right, pause and write your reactions to reverse warrior. And when you come back, we'll try a side angle. All right, so we're just gonna add on to what we've already done. Um, we're gonna start in warrior two, we'll take it into a, into a reverse, and then we'll take it into a side angle. So again, we're gonna start by stepping the left foot back, coming into warrior two, drop your back heel down, reach your arms out in opposite directions. Once you get here, flip your front palm, Reach up and back and reverse your warrior. Keep the front knee bent this time. Then this is a time where it's nice to have your block or something to put your hand on. So there's a few options. The first one is on your exhale, you're gonna bring your right elbow to your right thigh, left arm up towards the sky. This is the first option and the one that we do most often in class. And it's perfectly good. So you keep bending into your right knee as much as you can. You should feel a lot of opening right here in the right thigh. And then see if you can put a little less weight on your thigh. So almost like you're hovering your elbow off. Maybe you even do hover your elbow off. Look out towards the long edge of your mat. Your left arm can stay reaching. It can come forward with your bicep or your arm hovering over your ear. Or it can come into another half bind where your left hand, again, tucks into your right hip crease right here. And then you stay low in the chest. These are some options. If you do have a block or something to put your hand on, you can put your block on the inside of your foot, bring your hand down, and then lift and find any of the same left arm variations from before. If you're really flexible in your inner thighs especially, you can bring your hand all the way down, but usually that one doesn't feel quite as good to me. And then I know that inner thigh is probably burning if you are moving with me. So we'll press down, reach back, straighten the front leg this time, and reverse. And we're going to come back into that side angle so I can show you a full bind. So you'll come into your side angle. If you want to play with this, your left hand comes to your left hip crease. Your right arm comes down and around and reaches for your hand. And it might not be accessible for you. And if it's not, it's okay. It's a really big shoulder opener and a hip opener. And it just takes practice. So if it's not there, don't feel bad about it. And once you're done, rise up, reach back, one more reverse straight leg. And then start to come back to neutral. If you have a block or a water bottle or something, step to the side. And then come back into your 
high lunge, just so you can step forward into mountain pose. Woo. Notice the difference right now between your two hips. Um, your right hip probably feels really different than your left, so just notice that. And then let's step the right foot back. Again, we're gonna come to warrior two first. So drop the back heel, turn your toes out towards the long edge of your mat, open your hips and press your left knee away. Reach in opposite directions, flip your left palm, take it up and back into your reverse first. Breathe. And then on your exhale, bring your left elbow to your left thigh, right arm up towards the sky to start. Really spiral your chest towards that right side, opening up as much as you can. You should be able to see your hand out of the corner of your eye. So glance up and make sure you can see it. And then if you want to take your hand forward, you can take it forward. If you want to take it into the half bind, you can take it into the half bind, just tucking your hand into your left hip crease. Breathe here. Really opening in the chest and the hips. And then if you want to, you can take your hand down to the floor or to a block or a water bottle to find a little deeper stretch. You really want to be stacking your left ankle over your, or your left knee over your left ankle. So check that out and make sure that's what's happening. Take another breath and press down, rise up, straighten the front leg and reach back, reverse. So we're going to come to that one more time, bending the knee right back into side angle. Option for the half bind. This time your right hand will come to your left hip. So send the hips back and the torso forward so that the left hand can come under and around and reach for your hand. And the side might be harder than the first or it might be easier, it just depends on your body. And then see if you can lift up, open the chest a little bit more. And if you have it, gently release. Start to rise up. Lift and reverse one more time, straighten the front leg. And come back to warrior two, just so that you can take yourself back into ooh, mountain pose. <laughs> and notice your hips, notice how they feel. Okay, go ahead and pause, journal your reactions for this one. Then we'll come back for one more pose, which is balancing half moon. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take us into this pose coming from warrior three, which is one of last week's poses. And this is another time where a water bottle or a block is really nice, especially when you're learning the pose or if you're just like a pretty stiff person, it can be really nice to have something to put your hand on. So I'm gonna put mine here at the top of the mat. And then we're gonna start again on the left side. So we're gonna start to pull your left foot up and into the hip joint. And then just start to lean forward with the torso, take the leg back, coming to warrior three. Now, right now your hips are closed, they're pointing straight down. We're gonna have them open for balancing half moon. So your right hand is gonna come down in front of your right foot. It can come to the block or it can come to the floor. And then you're just gonna start to peel yourself open and flex your left toes out towards the left side. Your left hand can stay on your hip or it can start to reach up. If you want to really play with balance, you see if you can lift your right hand to your heart. If you're on carpet, this is really hard to balance, so give yourself some grace. And when you're ready to come out, just square yourself back down and step to a forward fold. Nod your head, shake it up and then just roll it back up to stand. And then we'll do the other side. So we'll start to plug the right foot up and in, hover it off the mat without really moving your leg. And then start to tilt yourself forward, little bend in your left knee will really help flex the toes down and you're in warrior three. Now, take your left hand either to the mat or to something else and peel open Flex the lifted toes as much as you can, engage both glutes, and if you fall out, it is okay and normal. And then your right hand can stay on your hip, 
or it can lift up by maybe a different variation. I'm really wobbly on this leg, so if you are too, know that it is okay. And then when you're ready to come out, just square everything back down, come through warrior three first, and then step into your forward fold. Let it go. And then just tuck your chin, roll your way up, roll out the shoulders, shake out the legs, whatever you need. And that's it for this week. So have fun playing around with these poses um, for a little bit longer, journal your responses, and I'll see you next time. Namaste.